Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how can you spice up your guitar solos by mixing the minor and the major pentatonic scales. So stay tuned. So a great way to become a more versatile guitar player is by learning to combine the minor and the major pentatonic scales to create better sounding, more interesting guitar licks, solos, and it's also a very good starting point to break out of those standard pentatonic shapes slash boxes. Most guitar players are probably familiar with the minor pentatonic scale, which goes like this. Right? And if they get asked like, hey bro, try to play an A major pentatonic over that. They would probably be like, major what? Or maybe some of them would know that the relative minor of A major is F sharp minor. So they would be like, yeah, I'm just gonna play the F sharp minor pentatonic. <laughs> Yeah, A major, bro. Which is technically correct because the A major and the F sharp minor has the same notes. But you know, if you do that, you're gonna run out of ideas very quickly because you're just gonna play the same minor pentatonic licks you would play in A minor. So instead, I would recommend to learn the A major pentatonic scale in the same position as you would play the A minor pentatonic scale. And you know, it's really, it's really not a hard thing to do and there are also some shortcuts for lazy people like me. So if you know the minor pentatonic scale, <laughs> You probably learned it in more positions or at least you learned the second position, right? So the point is that if you know the second position of the minor pentatonic scale, which goes like this. That means that you already know the major pentatonic scale because all you need to do is to move this second position to the root note, which is gonna be A in our case. So you're just gonna play the second position of the minor pentatonic scale right here. <laughs> So there you go, you know the A major pentatonic scale. And this will give you a lot more creative ideas you can apply to spice up your guitar licks and solos. And of course, later on you can uh, learn this in all the positions to make your life easier. And another great thing you should do is try to memorize the third notes of the scale. So for example, in A minor, learn where the uh, minor thirds are. So for example, in A, so try to memorize these minor thirds because if you know where the minor third is, it's very easy to go up to the major third, just like this. So minor third, major third. And you can combine this and... And you're gonna sound much more majorish immediately. So the whole point is that learn the minor and the major pentatonic scale in the same position and try to blend them together and you're gonna see that 
you're gonna come up with new interesting ideas immediately. Just try to focus on those thirds, minor and the major thirds. Just like I showed you before. something like that. Just try to combine those two, two skills together and you're gonna see improvement in your playing very very soon. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you find this video useful and you can get some new fresh ideas out of it. If you into these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a message down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.